Welcome to Behind the Scenes of Trading Spaces. We have just finished an episode and you are seeing a room designed by Ty Pennington. He had the task of making this very large family room be multifunctional and yet cohesive. And the main way that he did that was doing a connecting piece all the way across with these amazing floor tiles and it makes it one space instead of two separate spaces. So you've got an adult area and a kid's area for uh, homework, playing games and all that stuff. A big part of Ty's design in this room is this amazing mural on the back wall. It's different shades of gray, it's all triangles, it's very geometric. They're mostly grays, it's pops of yellow, and very importantly, pops of orange. Pops of orange on the wall, pops of orange in the drapery that have been uh, custom made with uh, actual uh, stamps that he designed himself. Um, pops of color in the fabric and the orange because the wooden floor in here is orange. A big piece of furniture in the room is this custom table, um, beautiful table built by Brett Tudor. It's a great place for the kids to do homework, play games. There's marvelous credenza that goes across the whole back wall. Storage. Um, it also has a, a pegboard door on it, which ties in beautifully to the pegboard modular shelving unit on the other wall. And it's just really neat. The sofa is a thrift sofa that he's completely recovered, uh, recushioned as well, new foam. And all in all, I think he did a bang up job. I'm so proud of him. He can be a designer on tra trading spaces anytime he wants. That's what I say. Hello, I would love to show you this wonderful uh, sanctuary designed by Carter Osterhaus. And he has been given the task of creating a sanctuary for the mom who lives in this space. Her husband actually has two man caves in the house that he's built for himself, but she wanted a space that she could call her own. Starting with this beautiful, calming pink, very girly uh, paint on the walls and this incredible ombre effect on the wall right behind the daybed. The daybed itself, so beautiful, created, the back part of it is created from vintage doors, old doors that have been, you know, sanded down and whitewashed and given this great look. Um, love the dream catcher, what a lovely choice. Um, it just encourages everyone to dream, to fantasize, and it's a, it's a great, lovely touch. Real flowers on the wall and these great little wall vases, nice organic moment. Uh, he's created a desk and storage for crafting, for doing little bits of office work. The wall unit over there can hold wrapping paper even. It's nice and tall and, and uh, rectangular, lots of space. Handmade bulletin board, I had a lot to do with that. And it's perfect for pictures and uh, all kinds of, you know, to-do lists and all things like that. So I love it. I love the fabric in here. I love the light fixture, such whimsy. And it it's just was a really fun space to do and the homeowners loved it.